Good afternoon, everybody. Ryan with JB Warranties back with another edition of the Trade Talk podcast. Today, I'm happy to have on the show Kevin Thornton, who's our Vice President of Partnerships and our over our Dealer Services Division. And that's actually what we're going to highlight today. So, Kevin, thanks for joining us, bud. Uh, excited to have you here. Thanks, Brian. So, the dealer service marketplace is, uh, is is gaining a lot of momentum. I think maybe it's it's probably had more success than we initially thought it might right out of the gate. So for those that don't know about it, can you tell us uh, the genesis of the marketplace? Why why we you came aboard to help us put this in place and kind of your motivation behind it? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. So about a year ago, got together with the management team. And uh, as we're looking at JB warranties, of course, the warranty business is our primary business is, and has been growing and, and has been great, you know, thanks to our dealer partners. And it really gave us an opportunity with everything that's going on in the world and, and all the you know, struggles that, uh, that our dealer partners are dealing with. Um, we had an opportunity to kind of give back and provide additional value to those dealers. And so when we're looking at how we can accomplish that, we said, well, you know, our dealer partners are working you know, so hard in the business day in and day out. It's hard to work on the business. There's certain business services, products uh, that are important to all of these small businesses. They just don't have time to, to vet them, to understand, uh, to know what's on the marketplace, what the right pricing is, you know, uh, those sorts of things. We said, hey, why don't we do that for them? We've got a large dealer base. And so when we designed the marketplace, we said, look, let's help our dealers thrive. And of course, thriving means different things to different dealers. In some cases, it's, hey, I want to grow this thing to sell it. OK, that's cool. Um, I, I'm creating a generational business where, you know, I've, I've inherited this business from my parents and I'm going to leave it to my kids. And I just want to make sure there's a you know, good transition. We can help them with that. Or they may just say, look, I just I'm not necessarily interested in growing. I want to provide for my community and I want to provide these services and I want to be able to retire before my back and knees give out. Right. And so uh, we said, OK, well, based off of that, how can we help them thrive and how can we help them accomplish their business goals? And we, we really focus in on three key things, Brian. One was how can we help them grow their revenues? How can we help them? kind of stay on top of their, their expenses or at least kind of maintain and manage their expenses more effectively? And how can we help them mitigate risk? As we know, in this day and age, you know, there's a lot of opportunity for risk, both, you know, there's issues between employees, you know, dealing with, with homeowners, you know, by sending technicians into homes, those sorts of things. And so there's, there's, there's risk that needs to be mitigated, right? And I like to say that, you know, in many cases, small businesses are one kind of catastrophic event away from bankruptcy and we want to help them, right? We want to help them thrive. And so we created a marketplace. And at the time we said, well, do we want to make it available only to JBW registered dealers? And we thought, no, like this is applicable to everyone. Let's make it, let's make it, uh, um, you know, consumer facing, let's put it on our website. So what's simple is any small business, any contractor, if they're doing business with us or not, can go to jbwarranties.com. In the top right corner, they'll see a tab for Marketplace. Once they click on that Marketplace, they've got full access to all of the Marketplace um, you know, vendors that we that we do business with. Um, there yeah, we've got a person. Let me What's say, that? Yeah, this, that surprised me a little bit because we initially reached out to all these partners to help air conditioning and plumbing contractors grow. We've, we've, we've been around and seen other dealer programs, manufacturer programs. A lot of those you have to kind of pay to get into. Right. Uh, when when we made the decision that you wouldn't even have to be a registered JB dealer to access this, that I thought that was valuable. So right. when all these other small businesses, like I believe you, you had a, a story about your dogs. Uh, That's right. Yeah, doggy daycare. Doggy daycare is yeah. on there. Non HVAC businesses yeah. are uh, using the program, and that, I mean that's just it's common sense. Every business kind of needs the same stuff. So what, what, right. are the, what are the same, what are the, what do we have in there? Yeah. Um, it's kind of broken into a few different categories of financing and accounting, human capital management, uh, some marketing and com customer communication, and then yeah. field service management. Right. Can you go into each of those four categories? Yeah, absolutely. That's yeah, funny because yeah, I was dropping my dog off to uh, camp Bow Wow, shout out to camp Bow Wow. And I was talking to the owners, two sisters that are running that business 
And I just asked them some questions. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, you know, do you use QuickBooks? Yeah, we do. Oh, but I've got an old version. I need to, I need to upgrade that. I got to get around to it. I said, well, good news is we can help you with that. You know, by working through us, we can get you a discount on QuickBooks. Like, oh, that sounds great. And then another time I drop off and it's like, hey, so how are things going? Oh, we're having such a hard time with, you know, with, with people and trying to find people. And uh, I said, oh, do you, do you have an HR manager on staff? No, but we really need one, but we can't afford it. It's like, well, hey, what if you had, what if we could provide you access to a, a SHRM certified HR manager uh, on demand for $50 a month? And her eyes lit up. It's like, you mean I wouldn't have to spend $70,000 to get an HR manager? I can use this? I said, sure. So yeah, I've been recruiting a, a, my d doggy daycare for these products. So uh, as you say, when we look at you know generating revenue, managing expenses, mitigating risk, we broke it into those four categories. So financing and uh, accounting. So we've got uh, QuickBooks, which is, of course, the de facto accounting package for small businesses. There's millions of small businesses using QuickBooks for their accounting. Um, all all uh, field service management applications integrate with QuickBooks, so that's a simple one. So with our uh, affiliation through Baytech and Intuit, we are a QuickBooks solution provider, which means that we can extend discounts on QuickBooks, not only uh, small businesses that are new to QuickBooks, so if they're switching from another accounting package or they're coming over from pen and paper, Excel, or even if they're upgrading, maybe they're, they're moving from QuickBooks desktop to online, we can get them discounts through our marketplace. We also have a payments platform, uh, which is JV Payments. It's white labeled. Um, another big thing we heard was the fees are really, really high for credit card processing. We were able to provide a solution with flat rate pr uh, pricing. It's 2.65% for credit card processing, regardless if the card's present or not, regardless of the type of card. So, um, so our, our dealer partners love that. Uh, we have a financing application. So one of the big things we heard from our dealers, and again, Brian, a lot of these products and services that we came up with are based on feedback from our dealers. They were telling us what they need. Um, they were saying, look, dealer fees are going through the roof. More and more people want to stay liquid. And so they're taking advantage of financing. It's just that, you know, our dealers get hit with, you know, 15, 16% dealer fees on top of it. So we're able to come up with JB Fin, which is a uh, direct-to-consumer multi-lender financing platform, zero dealer fees, uh, which uh, which our dealer loves. Um, in some cases, folks don't uh, or can't qualify for financing. They've got bumps and bruises on their credit. We've got a great partnership with Atwood Rentals HVAC. It's a rent-to-own program. So again, we're we're helping dealers find solutions for homeowners. Of course, we've got warranties on there too. Uh, as we mentioned, the marketplace is available, shout out to warranties, uh, marketplace <laughs> is available to, uh, to those dealers that don't sell our warranties. You'd be surprised how many dealers find us because maybe a TM at one of their distributors or uh, another, another contractor that they know in their local community said, hey, I'm using this financing from JB Warranties, you need to check it out. They come to our marketplace and it's like, hey, well, I noticed I don't sell their warranties. I'd, I'd love to learn about their warranties too. So we're actually getting some warranties leads uh, through the marketplace. Um, we talked about uh, the HR product. So again, the um, HR uh, manager on demand, low, low cost. In some cases where um, if we have contractors that are doing uh, state or, or government jobs or federal jobs that everyone that sets foot on site needs to be drug tested, We've got my HR screens that provides drug testing along with motor vehicle reporting and background checks. So great to know, you know, not only for prospective employees that are coming on board, but uh, if you're providing company vehicles, it's, it's kind of a good idea to, to do motor vehicle reports at least once a year to make sure that, you know, everyone, you know, that's driving a company vehicle, you know, doesn't have a suspended license, you know, those sorts of things. Those, um, those last three, Kevin, are it's been kind of funny. We started, yeah. or you started kind of educating the employees around here about the financing. And now we've got employees that have used it. We yes. have managers use the HR helpline because you get free access to the Sherm HR. Uh, That's right. Your managers get a, like a helpline. So that if they've got a difficult situation and they just want a third party to consult with them on how to handle it. Exactly. I think we've had three or four department managers use that now. Yeah. And you know, it's, it's, it's all stuff that, is good stuff. It's not just yeah. 
it's, it's the well old thing, like you don't need it till you need it, right? It's like, oh, well, and, and that's what a lot of times we find with dealers. It's like, hey, do you have an HR manager? No. Well, let me guess. It's your office manager that also does the books, who's also responsible for recruiting, who's also responsible for, you know, managing the break room. And oh, by the way, they, they do kind of HR and legal, right? Yeah. Um, it's, it, you can't Google that, right? If, if you're yeah. a, a business owner, and your CSR walks into your office and says that they've had a dispute with one of your senior technicians. Maybe it was, you know, uh, a comment was made or something inappropriate. What do you do, right? There, there could be a lawsuit or you could have something serious that, that comes out of that. Um, so having someone that you can pick up the phone, share the details and get, get advice back as, as far as how you should handle that. Again, for $50 a month, it's, it's a no brainer. And you, it is one of those things you don't know you need it till you need it. It's right. the person that's wearing all those hats who thinks that they're, you know, and there's a lot of people like that. I used to be like that. I'm not a professional in HR, but I used to manage an HR department or right. still do. Uh, it's, it's a different feeling when a, a letter shows up in the mail and you've been served with a lawsuit or now you've got to really find right. out, are we on solid ground here for 50 bucks a month? It's, I love just the helpline. The helpline is great. In the past, we've used the MVR reports. Pretty easy to, to keep it all in one house too. We were using a background check person, MBR person, yep. and then um, you know we didn't have a helpline, so to get it all in one box is is, is pretty good. Agreed. Yeah, and so this is my job, kind of going to the HR products with, and then we also have benefits, right? So benefits, big expense for uh, for, for uh, business owners. In some cases, they don't offer it just because of because of the expense. So we found a program through SMB Benefit Advisors, and it's a what's called a MEC plan. It's minimum essential coverage. So things like discounts on prescriptions, it's access to telemedicine, it's your two cleanings per year, that sort of thing. But it's cost effective. Um, you need a minimum of five uh, employees to participate. But the nice thing is that a business owner can either elect to you know, cover the entire cost, part of the cost, or none of the cost, but just still make it available uh, to their uh, to their employees because again when when you start looking at employees there's a lot of options for them yeah. um, yes they're interested in what their pay is but it's the culture it's the quality is their voice heard are they respected are the benefits you know th- all those things kind of come into play when people are deciding you know where they want to uh, where they want to work and so having a benefits plan that is relatively low cost uh, could be the difference of someone staying or, or leaving so. Yeah, it's a it's a good recruiting tool. It's almost uh, essential to have that as an offering now, if you're going to get top talent. Agreed. And when we talk about people, that's one of the top two things we always hear. We hear, I need more people. I need more leads, right? And so we've got a partnership with Blue Collar Talent Scouts, which is a boutique recruiting uh, group just for the trades. So they can provide uh, consulting uh, services, but also, hey, I just I need a technician in. Ohio and needs, you know, this, this certification, um, you know, this type of uh, employee, they can go out and they can source that person, you know, um, a la carte for you. So, uh, so that's been very popular. Um, payroll is another, you know, another service that, um, you know, there's some of the big guys that are out there, but we have a partnership with Journey Payroll and they're typically 20 to 40% less. So again, saving our, our dealers money, 20 to 40% less than the big guys that are out there. But what we really like is that their their retention rate on their customers is over 98%, which means that they're providing that type of white glove service uh, to these small businesses, which, again, is very important. When you're dealing with a dealer with eight employees, you got to make sure you, you pay people right and you get, right, get paid on time and, and the right amount and whatnot because you just don't have time to deal with that stuff. So dealing with a partner like uh, Journey Payroll absolutely makes sense. Um, another area, again, this time, of, this time of year, especially here in the South where the phones are ringing off the hook, uh, you have to make sure your phone system can keep up, right? Last thing you want to do is have drop calls or if you have a tree, um, you know, uh, ring groups that, that aren't, you know, aren't, aren't managing the calls to the right people at the right time, people don't have time, right? They're going to hang up and they're going to go to the next, you know, the, the next name on that Google list. Yeah. Um, so you got to make sure you got a phone system that can hold up. We're working with Zoom phone right now, and we've been extremely happy with them. Uh, the interface is fantastic. The call quality is great. And versus what we were paying before through our other uh, 
VoIP provider, uh, substantial savings. So that's one that we're really, really happy. And I think we can provide a lot of, uh, a lot of our dealers um, some really nice savings on. Yeah, I didn't realize that how, how important that having that phone infrastructure in place is oh, yeah. because of how it works with call routing and marketing campaigns and yep. organizing uh, the, the call trees. Like I, I wouldn't have thought about that because we didn't really have that uh, when I was on the contractor side. It was everyone just used their cell phone. Right. And that guy left the company. Well, you're probably right. there go your customers with them because nobody you have no way to know who's calling him. Exactly. So, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's just let it live on their phone, but be a soft app right. that literally gives you data management capabilities and organization. Yeah. And it's cheap. I mean, it's cheaper than anything we were doing that was hardlined. Yeah. So. Yeah. And it's, it's, you know, as you say, you, you know, the technician gives a homeowner their cell phone number, right. And so on Saturday, you know, four months from now on a Saturday night, all of a sudden your phone rings and it's that homeowner because they've got a service call. I don't even work for that company anymore. Right. Mm -hmm. And so it just, it just doesn't make sense. Um, it, it also doesn't make sense for a technician to carry three different devices with them, right? And so the ability for uh, either comfort advisors or technicians to, to bring their own device to work, but to have their own personal cell phone number, but also a company issued number that is, that is attached with that phone so that if a, if a homeowner calls, it can be routed to that number and they know that inbound call is actually a work call, uh, but the homeowner is not getting access to their personal number is great. Also, if you think about it from a practicality perspective, say I'm a junior technician and I'm standing in someone's backyard and I'm trying to get this unit to work and I just hit a wall, I can quickly pull up my phone through Zoom phone. I can see who's available close by. I can chat. I can place a call to a ring group, say a senior technician or you know the service manager picks up, says, hey, Bob, I got this, I got this problem. It's like, no, no problem. Turn this phone call into a video call turn your phone around, show me what you're looking at and I'll help you troubleshoot it. That's, yeah. that's pretty cool. And that's all built in. Also the, at the admin panel, the ability to add, remove lines and permit, you know, permission based um, uh, permissions like that. Uh, it's definitely worth, uh, definitely worth it. So yeah, we're, we're big fans of zoom phone for sure. Well, there's a lot of reputable companies that have made that switch recently too. Right. I mean, it's, yeah. uh, it's yeah. pretty much uh, established. Big, it's, it's the Big global manufacturer, uh, HVAC manufacturer moved tens of thousands of phones over to Zoom phone. Walmart is another one. Uh, so yeah, some some very large multinational companies are using Zoom. Zoom's known, of course, for video, but it's all kind of unified communication. And so they've taken all of that exper expertise on Zoom video and brought it over to um, telephony and uh, over 2 million phones in circulation and, and growing uh, exponentially on a daily basis. So they're, they're doing some great things. Um, another one that, that we work with is Podium. So again, online review, reputation management, very important, right? And so Podium is really the leader in that space when it comes to, hey, I've completed a job at your house. While it's kind of in the moment, you know, if you're completely happy, would you be you know, kind enough to leave us a review? Those reviews are then broadcast everywhere, which of course increases your, your rankings through those different social sites that helps with repeat business, uh, et cetera. So uh, yeah, Podium's a, a great partner and, and really a leader in the field service space. Yeah, there's a reason why they've found their way into most of the elite dealer programs and, and, and how these contractors who have been around for 30, 40 years yeah. kind of get lapped in the Google reviews, which is how people of a younger mindset are finding people. Right. Um, this is your way to catch up. Like it's amazing when you can see a contractor go from four Google reviews to 400 in a couple of years, all five star ratings. Podium is worth the cost. It's worth its weight in gold uh, in this day and age. And you're right. That's definitely the go-to and good people over there. Nothing but positive things to say about Podium. If you're watching this, everything, I think you should check out anything. If you're a small business owner or if you're an operator, and you're looking at mitigating risk, cutting expenses, all of these things are great. Podium is one that will help you really uh, with your sales as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, from a marketing perspective, and and uh, um, it's yeah, it's a, it's a great uh, it's a great platform. Um, the last one, and again, we're adding additional products and services, so we're vetting you know a different partners. In fact, I just got off a call with with a, a partner that offers a phenomenal service that we're going to be adding here shortly. Fortunately, I can't share who it is, but uh, but we'll be adding them shortly. 
And that's what we'll do. We'll continue to get feedback from uh, from uh, our dealers in the field and uh, make additions um, where it makes sense. The the last product that we'll talk about, which uh, which we're really really um, excited about, is Sarah, which is in the uh, field service management space. So Sarah is you know really becoming the emerging uh, you know field service management platform of choice for for dealers that that you know and and. There's a lot of options that are in the marketplace, but really what sets Sarah apart is the way that they leverage artificial intelligence. And it really focuses in on a few key things, efficiencies, right? Making sure that all of your, all of your people are working efficiently uh, and all of the time is tracked. The, the time management down to the minute is, is itemized and tracked. So you know exactly what your costs are. Um, profitability. A lot of field service management applications are talking about, hey, our dispatch board is fat, better. It looks faster. It's this, you know, whiter whites, brighter brights. It's like, but it really doesn't, you know, but how does it help the dealer, right? And so having an application that really helps them understand the benefits of warranties, the benefits of margins, the benefits of, um, you know, having a dynamic uh, dispatching and scheduling, uh, uh, you know, platform that really helps you focus on the stuff that you should be focusing on. Um, and so the visibility, the profitability and the efficiency, those are kind of like the three key things for me why, why Sarah stands apart. Um, it was designed and kind of built uh, by the founder, Billy Stevens, who extremely successful operator, uh, you know, building, selling, building again, uh, uh, HVAC and, and plumbing companies. And so, the, the, the field service management kind of software is kind of the enabler as I look at it. Like a lot of, a lot of these platforms do the same thing. It's the ability to manage an inbound request, right? It's either a phone call, it's an email, it's a text. People saying, hey, I need service or I need, you know, a quote. That information comes through. It's, you know, a task is created. It's sent out to either a comfort advisor, to a, a technician, the, you know, the record is being added to the CRM or it's being edited if it's an existing customer. It then goes to the schedule. It goes to the dispatch. It's dispatched out. Um, the technician grabs it. They then, you know, show up. They do the work. They get paid for the work. It flows back through QuickBooks. Like that's the, that's the you know, the, the, the whole kind of workflow in a nutshell for field service management. But with Sarah, it just, the way that it handles all these things so eloquently and really helps you know provide the reporting and the dashboards that are important for for business owners to make smart business decisions and make sure that the right technician is going to the right job at the right time um, it's just it's game changing what uh, what Sarah is doing and what they're bringing to the field service management space so we're we're very excited to have them as a partner uh, some of the integrations that are coming down the pipeline are going to be revolutionary and uh, again it's going to help our our dealers um, really drive additional revenues through memberships, through warranties, through their service agreements, and just really understanding their pricing, the ability to, to make priceless changes on the fly instantaneously and to create pricing based off of their margin needs, based on what their, what their, their overhead and their costs are. Um, it's just absolutely astonishing what they're doing um, and how new and refreshing it is and and, uh, and yeah, the dealers, dealers are loving it. So we're, we're very excited to have uh, Sarah as part of our marketplace. Yeah, I would say, uh, well, I would probably say that warranties are my favorite thing in the marketplace. <laughs> um, I said shout, JB warranties. I know what to get you for Christmas now, Brian. Your local rep. Get your warranty. But yeah, I think, I think Sarah has kind of, I've spent a lot of time looking at different field service management stuff, was involved with the development of some. Um, I think we probably owe it to Sarah to do an entire trade talk uh, episode on Sarah. Maybe we can get Billy on, maybe some of the guys from the Sarah team, but you, you use the word revolutionary. That is truly how I feel about it. It's, I thought I understood how these things work. And then you see something like that where it's like, okay, I know nothing. This is yeah. the way this is, this is the way. So yeah. yeah, we need to, we need to, we'll do it. We'll do a full trade talk uh, episode yeah. two on Sarah, because we do need to get that word out. It's, it's, it's slowly becoming a, maybe not the best kept secret in HVAC. I know it's in all of the groups online and there's a lot of people kind of flocking. It's kind of hard to maybe even get a demo right now. There's a little bit of a waiting line because there's a lot of momentum 
Yeah. Those guys who think they can still do it before summer gets here. But um, in the next six months, I would, I would anticipate if you haven't heard of it yet, you will have heard of Sarah by the end of summer or in the fall when we, we fire back up the dealer meetings. Yeah. Yeah. The, the software is really the framework, right? Their foundation. It's really, it's the philosophies. It's the mindset. It's the kind of the game plan. What you do with the software is what matters. And because Billy has been so successful building and growing and operating these businesses, he's taking those principles and he's woven it into the software. And it's always based on simplicity, simplicity, simplicity. How can we take something that takes 28 touches and, and drive that down to two or three touches, right? And so um, every, every time they look at something or every time we've engaged with them on a process, it's like, how can we do it better? How can we do less touches, right? How can we make it simpler? And so bringing that simplicity uh, you know, to the software is what makes it different. And, and it's so refreshing for our dealer partners. But yeah, as we get into kind of the shoulder shoulder months after the busy season and uh, things start opening up, um, you know, definitely there's going to be some some great new developments and announcements coming uh, of, of how the, the system is, uh, is evolving. And uh, we look forward to being part of it. I think it's going to be fantastic. Yeah. So we'll, uh, we'll try to get that scheduled. So Keep your eye on the Trade Talk podcast for the next couple of episodes. One of those will be with Sarah now. Do you want to tell people how to find the marketplace? I know we mentioned you don't have to sign up for it. So how do you yep. find it? Yeah, it's real simple. So just uh, jbwarranties.com forward slash marketplace. Or even if you just go to jbwarranties.com uh, on our main landing page on the top right corner, you'll see a tab for marketplace. Click on that tab. And once you do, um, you're going to see the full marketplace. Uh, we break it down into three easy steps. You can, on the left navigation bar, we've got the categories. So if there's just a category like, you know, uh, human capital management that you're interested in, you could click there and just look at those products. Um, but as you scroll through, there's, you can click on more information. So there's some additional information if you're not familiar with a product or it may say learn more. Um, and then if you're, if you're interested, you can click on it either says request info or request a demo. Once you request that demo or request info on the left hand navigation bar, there's a shopping cart or, or an interest cart, if you will. And what it'll do is as you go through all of the products and services and you click on those, it'll add that to your cart. So you may be interested in QuickBooks and JB warranties and, you know, blue collar talent scouts. It's adding those, uh, as you go through. Once you're done and once you've seen all the products uh, and you've added all the ones that you're interested in, you just hit submit. At that point, you just fill out one referral form. So you just provide uh, uh, your information. Once you send that, it comes into our, our business development group. We then take it, we parse it out to our partners, and then there's an outreach, uh, set up a discovery call, provide information via email, provide you pricing a quote. Um, and again, we try to make it simple. So instead of you having to go out and fill out 16 different referral forms and, you know, go to all these different sites, we'll bring it into one convenient location. Uh, again, we're trying to make it very, very simple uh, for our dealers to thrive by helping them increase their revenue, decrease their expenses and mitigate the risk. And then also, I mean, there's some incentive for them going through JV warranties, correct? Oh yeah. On, on, yeah. We've, on we've negotiated. Yeah, we've negotiated some favorable rates. So we've used our size and scope with these vendors to, to, to get favorable rates from, uh, from, these, uh, from these vendors. And so, yeah, absolutely. Um, you're going to get, you know, uh, better pricing uh, coming through us than what you would uh, get, you know, going directly to the vendor on your own. Awesome. Well, Kevin, thanks for joining us today, man. Congrats on your first episode of Trade Talk, by the way. Thank you, sir. It's You've been a met. pleasure. So, uh, that's the marketplace. Give it a look. We're really proud of it. Go to our website, click the marketplace button. Uh, if there's, if you, if you find nothing of use on there, Kevin will buy you lunch. And uh, if you, if you do find something useful on there, tell somebody about it. Cause we're perfect. We put it together to help people, but started with our customers. Now it's kind of grown into something bigger than we thought it would be. But if you're a heating and air conditioning contractor or a plumber, you uh, there's a good chance you'll find something of value on there. So yeah, absolutely. With that will wrap it up. And uh, see you on the next episode where we hope to have Sarah. Thank Thanks, you. Brian.